I mean, Billy, some surprising news emerging from Ripple Labs with the stablecoin announcement. What's that all about? Yeah, it took me by real surprise. Uh, so uh, if you don't know who Ripple Labs is, it's one of the OGs of, of the cryptocurrency space. I mean, its XRP token was launched back in 2012, I think it was. Really one of the first, um, uh, you know, non-Bitcoin cryptocurrencies to become mainstream, really. It's, it, you know, Ripple Labs is a real... A, a, a real trailblazer in the crypto space. Now, just yesterday, it said that it's going to be entering the stablecoin market. Um, I don't think many people expected that. Uh, so uh, stablecoins being dollar-pegged uh, cryptocurrency assets that kind of strip out the volatility uh, of the cryptocurrency space. Now, why wouldn't you expect Ripple Labs to be getting into the altcoin, the $150 billion alt, um, stablecoin market? Well, because Tether just has such a, a, a stranglehold on, on, that, on that industry. Now, Tether has a $130 billion market cap. It's basically like 95% of the entire stablecoin market. And in my mind, it's like, what can Ripple provide the market that tether can't yeah ripple you know ripple said that you know wants to bring some legitimacy to it it's uh, uh ripple's chief executive said it's a natural step for ripple to continue bridging the gap between traditional finance and crypto uh, and he reckons it can he can provide more transparency in the uh stable coin space assumably compared to tether uh which you know has been quite controversial in the past so i don't really know fundamentally what what ripple is uh aiming to achieve uh from this but um nonetheless uh we've got a new stable coin coming out uh thanks to ripple you said stable coins can be controversial why is that yeah it's just it's just the the history of them uh, if you look at what happened with tether basically the way stablecoin operates is you need to have you know uh for every one stable coin you need to have a dollar backing it somewhere in, in a bank account uh more or less like uh, tether has um historically been um a bit unfaithful with its uh backing with its reserves uh a, a, a new york attorney general investigation found that tether was more or less lying about how much cash was backing its stable coin which uh is a bit of a problem if there's a bank run and you want to get your money out and there's no money there. So they go into quite a lot of trouble for that. Uh, and it, I think it just speaks to the fact that cryptocurrency in general is not a very, um, it's not very transparent. It's not a very, very heavily regulated uh, industry. And it leaves it, uh, you know, it open for, for bad faith players. I'm not saying Ted is one of them, but I'm just saying the lack of oversight is really lacking. And when, you, when you're dealing with 150 billion dollars of people's money the implications can be huge so it's just that lack of regulation that lack of um, oversight in the in the uh, stablecoin space that has um made it quite a controversial uh, digital asset in the past but hey maybe ripper will come in and bring some legitimacy to the space we'll find out <laughs> Yeah, maybe cause some ripples as well as it goes with that. I sure. <laughs> hope you have a great weekend. Thank you very much for your insights as usual. All right. See ya.